Haleluya. Come on, give it up to the Lord. Come on, church. Let's put some serious praise on the Lord. Hallelujah. Well, he has already stolen my, my phrase. I was going to say, say to your neighbor, last time before. Amen. I was going to say, look at your neighbor, tell them you look much better than you, you kumba, did last time. Yako, mwambie, we can be seated in the presence of the Lord. Ebu, keti kwa wepo wa mungu. Um, since it is my last night tonight, Kwa sababu ni usiku wangu wa mwisho leo. I was telling some people I said if you see me crying. Nilikuwa naambia watu kwamba ukiniona nikilia. It won't be because of the anointing. Haitakuwa kwa sababu ya upako. It will be because I'm going to miss you. Amen. Itakuwa kwa sababu nitakuwa wakoseni sana. I want us to honor uh, Bishop Jimmy and uh, Pastor Alice for being such a wonderful host. Na nataka kuheshimu askofu Kimani pamoja na mkeo kwa sababu kuwa wenyeji wazuri. And wonderful parents to us. May we put our hands together. Na wamekuwa wazazi wema wacha tuwapigie makofi. Amen. Amen. Of course I, it's an honor and a privilege to stand before uh, Bishop JB. Nimetunukiwa heshima sana kusimama mbele ya askofu JB. Uh, the day I was driving them. Siku ambayo nilikuwa nawasafirisha kwenye gari. I had no clue that uh, God was really setting me up that one day you know we we're going to share the stage and pulpit together and so forth and so on. kwamba Mungu alikuwa ananitayarisha kwamba siku moja tutakuwa kwenye madhabahu mmoja. And what a poignant word we received last night. Na hilo ni neno la wakati ambapo tulipokea jana. And I have stolen some of the thoughts. Wameiba baadhi ya mawazo. Can I tell you the past the secrets? Naweza waambieni kwamba zile siri za mchungaji if I were to say something that he said because he's around, I will quote him. Ikiwa kuna kitu ningesema kwa sababu yuko, ninaeza kumnuku. But when I get home, I said, it has been said. Lakini nikifika kule kwetu, nasema kumba isha semu. So when I preached somewhere, I said, as I was praying, the Lord said. Kwa hivyo nikiubiri maali, nitasema nilivokuwa naomba mungu wakazungumza. I want us to celebrate Bishop J.B. and Mama. Nataka tuwa shereke ya skofu JB na mama pale Amen I'm so humble this moment I take it priceless I know you have a busy schedule That you can really come to Just sit And some vendor boy is preaching Na eshimu sana Najua kwamba nyingi ni watu wa shugli nyingi Lakini na sikia kwa eshimika kwamba Mmeka hapa ikiwa kijana wa vendor na hubiri Amen. The leadership Amen. of this church, God bless you, all those who are serving. Kwale uh, wote ambao wanafanya kazi hapa, mungu wa bariki. We appreciate you. Tuna waheshimu. Um, tonight, as I've said, it's my last time, so I, I, I want to pour out everything. Livyo sema kwamba usiku wa leo, ndiyo wakati wa muisho, nataka kumuaga yote. I want you to squeeze everything out of me. E, na nataka ukeweze kunyonya kila kitu ndani mwangu. Are we together? Tuko pamoja. Uh, a day before last, Juzi, uh, the pastor preached to us. He said, "You are a wonder." Mchungaji aliubiri kwa tu kusema wewe ni mtu wajabu. And uh, last night we were taught uh, about how to impact the marketplace. Usikajana tu kufundishwa jinsi ya kuathiri soko. So building on top of that, kujenga kwa msingi huo. The subject of my message tonight will be. Mada ya jumbe wangu utakuwa. The devil will name your price. Shetani ataweza taja beyako. The devil Shetani will name atataja your price beyako. Ask your neighbor, say, do you know how much you're worth? Je, uliza jirani yako, muulize, unajua weni wathamani gani? Yeah, you see, this is the right time to change. If you don't have right neighbors, this is the time to change. Ikiwa hauna jirani wakufaa, hundi wakati wakubadilisha. Make sure you have the right neighbor. Ask them, do you know how much you're worth? Unajua wewe ni wadhamani gani? Amen. If you don't know, Ikiwa haujui, the devil will name your price. Shetani ataweza taja thamani yako. 
Uh, my message is in three facets. Ujio wangu uko katika vipengee vitatu. I'm going to give you a, a starter and we're going to do a main course and a dessert. Nitawapa mwanzo kitangulizi kisha niwape kile chakula halisi kila nitafanya ila mwisho. In building up up to the climax of the message. Katika kujenga upeo wa ujumbe wangu. Uh, this morning we spoke a little about uh, Adam in the garden. Asubuhi ya leo tukazungumza kuhusu Adamu kule kwenye shamba. And uh, also Jesus comes as the last Adam in the Old Testament in the New Testament. Na Yesu pia anakuja kama Adamu wa mwisho katika agano jipya. He was coming to simply rectify that which was errored. Alikuwa anakuja kurekebisha makosa yaliyotendwa na Adamu. In the garden of Eden. Katika shamba la Edeni. Because the devil came through a woman kwa sababu shetani alipitia mwanamke God when he was passing judgment Mungu alipokuwa analeta hukumu He said to the enemy akamwambia shetani I'm going to use the same woman nitatumia huyo huyo mke a seed kama mbegu will crush your head mbegu yako yake itaweza kubondeza so, kichwa chako The devil knows that God's promises are yes and amen. Kwa hivyo shetani anajua kwamba ahadi za Bwana ni ya na amina. So starting from that time, kuanzia wakati huo, the devil was after the seed of a woman. Shetani alikuwa analenga mbegu ya mwanamke. He was not sure who's that going to be. Hakuwa na uhakika ni atakuwa ni nani. That's why he made sure Cain and Abel fights. Ndio kwa sababu akahakikisha kwamba Kaini na Abeli wanapigana vita. To an extent that they kill each or one another hadi or, wakaweze kuuana because the devil was after the seed of a woman kwa sababu shetani alikuwa analenga mbegu ya mwanamke when moses was born musa alipozaliwa there was an order that boys must be killed kulikuwa na amri ya kwamba wanaume lazima wawawe because the devil was after the seed of a woman kwa sababu shetani alikuwa analenga mbegu Through ya mwanamke out the generations katika historia yote anybody that god will raise in prominence yeyote ambaye mungu alikuwa anasimamisha katika haiba kuu the devil will be afraid of them shetani alikuwa ana hofu naye you see the bible is so rich unaona kwamba biblia ina utele ina utajiri mwingi that you can see more than genesis 1:1 kwa hivyo unaweza ona zaidi ya mwanzo moja moja genesis 1:1 mwanzo moja moja It says in the beginning. Inasema hapo mwanzo. God Mungu created the heavens and the earth. Aliumba mbingu na dunia. The earth was without form. This NLT can we do KJV? Tunaweza enda katika tafsiri ya mfalme Yakobo. The earth was without form. Dunia ikawa haina umbo. And void and darkness was upon the Ilikuwa face. Tupu na giza zililikuwa juu yake of the deep ya upeo wake and the spirit of god moved na roho wa mungu akawa anatembea of waters katika ule umbo just hold it there hebu shikilie hapo tu between verse 1 and 2 kutoka mstari wa kwanza hadi wa pili we discover the trinity of god tunagundua utatu wa mungu in the beginning pale mwanzo in the beginning ndani ya mwanzo the word beginning neno lile mwanzo was translated from the word alpha inatokana na neno alpha which is one of jesus names ambayo ni baadhi ya jina moja la yesu so it will read that if we are not saying in the beginning we would rather say in alpha kwa hivyo ikiwa hatusemi pale mwanzo yafaa tuseme pale alpha which is jesus ambaye ni yesu god mungu who is the father ambaye ni baba created aliumba the bible says biblia sema and the spirit na roho was moving upon the face of the earth alikuwa anatembea katika upeo wa dunia so we find alpha kwa hivyo tunapata alpha we find the father tunapata baba we find the spirit na tunapata roho that is why in verse 26 it says ndio kwa sababu katika mstari wa 26 unasema and God said na kisha Mungu akasema let us wacha sisi that day whichever part of the day it was uh, God was calling his eternity. Hiyo siku Mungu alikuwa anaita umilele wake. Before that God just spoken things into existence without a meeting. Kabla Mungu hajaitisha vitu aliitisha mkutano. But when he was about to create man. Lakini ilipofika wakati wa kumumba mwanadamu. He called forth for a meeting. Akaitisha mkutano. So when he says us. Kwa hivyo anavyosema sisi. That is not United States. Haimaanishi Marekani. That he meant 
as a trinity anamaanisha sisi kama utatu this is my uh, uh, submission uh, as a revelation for fundisho langu kama ufunuo ni huu that it is it was in that meeting ya kwamba ilikuwa katika mkutano huo because the holy spirit is the revelator kwa sababu roho mtakatifu ndiye anafunua you could have lifted up his hands angeinua mkono wake to ask god kuuliza mungu what if this man that we're going to create is going to violate our principles je itakuwaje kwamba binadamu tunayeumba akaweze kukiuka masharti haya so believe that it was in that meeting before god could answer na nikaamini kwamba ni katika mkutano ule kabla mungu aje JC lifted up his hand. Yule mwana akainua mkono wake. And say I'm willing to go down and be a sacrifice. Akasema mimi niko tayari kufanyika dhabihu. Salvation wouldn't be salvation if Jesus died of old age. Wokovu haungekuwa wokovu ikuwa Yesu alikufa kwa ajili ya uzee wa maisha. He sacrificed his life. Lakini alitoa maisha yake kama dhabihu. God had the entire plan kwa hivyo Mungu alikuwa na mpangilio wote wa dunia umepangwa. plan B to redeem. Alikuwa na wakati ama mpango wa kuokoa. The human race. Uh, mwanadamu. Matthew 6:33. Mathayo 6:33. It says seek you first. Anasema tafuteni mwanzo. The kingdom of God. Ufalme wa Mungu. Now listen German. If God will say seek you first. Ikiwa Mungu atasema tafuteni kwanza. It means that 33 it, um, it, it, it means that there is second inamaanisha kwamba kuna right ya pili god would have just said seek the kingdom angesema tu tafuteni ufalme if he says first akisema mwanzo it means that there is an order of kingdoms inamaanisha ya kwamba kuna mpangilio wa falme there are seven existing kingdoms kuna falme kama saba the first king i'm going to go through this quickly nitapitia mambo haya kwa haraka the first kingdom falme wa kwanza it is the sovereign kingdom ni ufalme wa utawala mkuu wa mungu where god rules hali ambapo mungu anatawala as the father the son and the holy ghost kama baba mwana na roho mtakatifu the second kingdom after god ufalme wa pili is the kingdom of man ni ufalme wa mwanadamu man was created in god's image mtu aliumbwa kwa mfano wa mungu so the first thing that god sees after his level kile kitu ambacho mungu anaona baada ya kiwango chake is man anaona binadamu and when god was creating man na mungu alipokuwa anamuumba binadamu he did not put him down hakumweka pale chini because god cannot look upon anybody kwa sababu mungu hawezi mtazamia mtu he didn't put him there hakumtazamweka pale juu because he can't look up to anybody hawezi muangalie juu mtu but he created him in his image akatengeneza kwa mfano na umbo lake the third kingdom ufalme wa tatu it's what we call the angelic kingdom ni kile ambacho tunaita ufalme wa malaika with a subdivision of demons because they fell from the level of angels ambaye imegamwanywa pamoja na wale mashetani kwa sababu walianguka toka ule ufalme wa mungu level was Uh, 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 divided in three or separated in three hicho kiwango kilibadilishwa mara tatu there were three w's kulikuwa na w tatu i think the concept of uh, the internet came from there na fikiria kwamba utandawazi so, ulitokana one w for the word w ya kwanza ni neno gabriel is in charge gabrieli anatawala one w for war w nyingine ni ya vita mike is in charge mikaeli yuko katika utawala the third w was for worship w ya tatu ilikuwa ni katika ibada and lucifer was involved na lucifer alikuwa ndiye anatawala the fourth kingdom ufalme wa nne the planetary kingdom ni ufalme wa ulimwengu where you find your planets earth, unapata planets, Mars, malimwe, ulimwengu unapata earth na zote ambazo zinapatikana pale number 5 5 amen amen the mineral kingdom ile mineral ya madini ufalme ya madini the, the mineral kingdom a kingdom of fossil fuels oils ufalme ya madini silver, ya mafuta gold, platinum Metal, Platinum, metal, iron, and all those kind of stuff. It's mineral kingdom. The habu. The sixth kingdom. Yeah, sita falme wa sita. It's the animal kingdom. Ni falme wa wanyama. Divided in three as well. Imegawanishwa mara tatu pia. Birds of the air, an eagle as a king, 
and animals of the earth lion as a king simba anatawala katika falme moja the fish of the sea na samaki wa majini whale as the king now the last kingdom ule ufalme wa mwisho is vegetational kingdom ni ufalme wa mimea is the kingdom of plants ni ufalme wa mimea Are you following me? Je, unafuata? Now here is an example. Huyu ni mfano. Money was made out of the vegetational kingdom. It's it's made out of uh, leaves. Pesa imeundwa kutokana na ufalme wa mimea. Come on, talk. Imeundwa kutokana na matawi. If all that you seek is money. Ikiwa chochote unatafuta ni pesa. You are seeking the last kingdom. Unatafuta katika ufalme wa mwisho which means that you cannot operate above the kingdoms ambaye inamaanisha awezi tawala katika falme of the kingdom that you are seeking ambazo ni katika ufalme ambao unatafuta if you worship cars ikiwa unaabudu gari they are made out of metals imetengenezwa tokana na mabati that's the fifth kingdom hiyo ni falme ya tano so you cannot operate above the kingdom which you have set yourself to seek after kwa hivyo hauwezi tenda kazi katika ufalme ambao umeamua kutafuta the same thing if you worshiping animals na vile vile ikiwa wewe unaabudu wanyama you limit yourself to that level unajiwekelea vikwazo wewe mwenyewe katika kiwango hiki why jesus said ndio kwa sababu yesu akasema seek ye first tafuteni kwanza so when you have You when you get hold of the first kingdom. Kwa hivyo ukiweza tawala katika ufalme wa kwanza. All these kingdoms. Mfalme hizi zote. All these things. Falme hizi zote. Shall be added. You don't, zote zinaongezeka. You don't have to look for them. Haikupasi kuzitafuta. Once you find the kingdom. Ukishapata huo uh, ufalme, hebu nizungumzie ni. So when you find the kingdom Kwa hivyo ukipata ufalme God is going to add a piece of metal Mungu anaongeza mabati tayari It does not just come as a raw piece I, of metal Haikuji tu kama yale mabati ghafi as an AML X5 Range Rover Inakuja kama Range Rover aina hiyo Bounce music at the back Pamoja na muziki ndani yake The devil is in trouble tonight. Amen. Shetani yako katika shida leo. If you seek first the kingdom of God, ukitafuta kwanza ufalme wa Mungu, all these things shall be added. Mambo haya yote utaongezewa. An alligator is not just going to show up as an alligator. Na alligator hata unaonekana kama alligator. You're going to make a belt a shoe and and and, and a hand back out of it. Na utaweza tengeneza mshipi au kiatu tokana nayo. Ule mamba. Now watch this. Hebu sikiliza haya. The chronology and the order is God, man, angels. Ile utaratibu ni kwamba kuna Mungu, kuna binadamu, kisha kuna malaika. The devil was after in the garden of Eden. Shetani alichokuwa anatafuta katika shamba la Edeni. Was the level which man operated. Alikuwa anatafuta kiwango cha utendakazi wa binadamu. Because through the fall. Kwa sababu kupitia yote katika kuanguka kwake. Change of the level of operation. Kulikuwa na kubadilishana katika kiwango cha utawala. If I have one question for if it's going to be the following. Ikiwa nitaruhusiwa kuuliza swali moja kwa Eve itakuwa hivi. And somebody could say what if you don't find her in heaven? Then you're going to ask her. Mtu atauliza ikiwa je hautampata mbinguni utafanya nini? Huo ni mzaha tu. Now this was a joke of uh, so, Now I was wondering why you're not laughing. Nilishangaa kwa nini ya ucheki na ni mzaha huo. One minister was uh, was in the plane so he, uh, uh, was it Billy Graham or so so he he was sharing the gospel to this other fellow who was sitting next to mtumishi wa mungu nafikiria alikuwa Billy Graham alikuwa kwenye ndege akishiriki kitu na mtu aliyekaa karibu naye an unbeliever so he says uh, so you believe the stories that are in the bible huyu bwana alikuwa haamini kwa hivyo akamuuliza unaamini mambo yaliyo katika biblia and the preacher said yes i do mhubiri akasema naam naam naamini mimi so this guy said how do you think jonah survived in the belly of fish for three days akasema hebu nikuulize unafikiriaje kwamba yona aliweza kukaa so, namna gani katika uh, so the, tumbo la samaki kwa siku tatu the preacher said i don't know but I'm going to ask him when I get there. Mtumishi akasema sijui lakini nitukifika huko nitamuuliza. So the, the brother said and then what if you don't find him in heaven? Na na huyo ndugu akauliza kwa mbona itakwaje usipompata mbinguni. So the preacher said then you're going to ask him. Mhubiri akasema basi wewe utamuuliza. Atakuwa huko utakapokuwa. 
because they are both not going in the same place. <laughs> I've lost my point. What was I saying? Order. Yes, thank you so much. Thank you so much. <laughs> Amen. So, so there was a the, the trade in of the level of operation now, god said in 26 he created 26. us in his own but wow. look at what the devil is saying to eve uh, the the Bible was not even confusing at that time if there was. I think it was one page. God said, I've created you in my own image. But what, what the enemy is coming to challenge if was, was the issue of the image. Because the devil says to, the, to Eve, God is afraid that when you eat the tree you shall be like him that's where if was supposed to have told the devil that I don't have to eat the tree to be like God I have been created in God's image already Ah, oh, come on, ladies. <laughs> now, now, when when Eve ate of the tree, Eva lipokula lile tunda. Listened from the devil. Akamskiliza shetan. Then position was shifted. Kisha kiwango kikabadilisho. How do I know that? Na juaje hivi. Before. Kabla. When the enemy was kicked out of heaven. Shetan yalipo fukuzo mbinguni. Michael. Mikaeli was employed to rebuke the devil. Aliandikwa kazi ili kuweza kumwangamiza shetani. This was shetani. before the fall of man. Ili ilikuwa kabla ya kuanguka kwa binadamu. Who kicked out Satan? Nani alimfurusha shetani? Because they are in the same class. Kwa sababu wako katika kiwango sawa. But the Bible says when Moses died, Kini Biblia inasema Musa lipokufa. Obviously this was after the fall. Ili kuwa baada ya kuanguka kwa binadamu. The Bible says Satan, Biblia inasema Shetani, and Michael, na Mikaeli, they were fighting over the body of Moses. Walikuwa napigania mwili wa Musa. This is now the same Michael. Hii ni yule yule Mikaeli who defeated Satan before. Ambaye alimshinda Shetani mwanzo. Could not defeat him. Lakini hangeweza kumshinda. Why? Wanini? Because the devil now was operating above the angelic level. Kwa he has employed the powers that were invested in man and their authority. Kwa sababu isasa shetani alikuwa kiwango juu ya malaika ambapo alikuwa kiwango chake mwanzoni. It was until Michael said, "The Lord rebuked." Ilikuwa hadi Mikaeli ilposema ya kwamba mungu anakufurusha. Because he ought to employ the authority of the highest kingdom to deal with the devil. Ilipidi ya kaweza kuitisha nguvu za ufalme wa juu haka mshinde shetani. Now watch this. Ebu sikiliza hai. All this time before Jesus comes. Wakati huu wote kabula yesu ya kuja. Shetani ya likuwa na kifungu. The devil had the authority. Shetani ya likuwa na mamlaka. When Jesus came. Mungu ishi. His assignment was to take back the keys. When Jesus came, the devil knew that this is the one. And he was after him. One day he tempted him. Or he tested him. He said, if you are the son of God, change this stone into bread Yawe mkate. starting from there Kwanzia hapo, the devil was now naming Jesus Christ shetani akawa na mtajia yesu, mipango ya yesu. you see every time I come across a temptation anamtajia bei yake thamana yake amen. amen thank God we've amen. got a linguist amen so you gotta amen. make sure you do the right thing <laughs> hallelujah <laughs> asante uh, that's what I do as well. If I teach and I hear my interpreters not saying what I, I was saying, I, I come back to that. So unfortunately, I don't know. 
But, but that's why somehow I descend because I said something short and he's sing, speaking all along. So I wonder if he's preaching on top of my message. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Now, listen to me, ladies and gentlemen. When I come across a temptation, I don't necessarily focus on the temptation. I ask myself, what is it that the devil could be hiding behind this temptation? temptation. Because if you come across you're doing business as we are told last night and, and somebody wants to bribe you with a million US dollar you should be knowing that the devil is naming my price it means that I'm worth millions but what the enemy wants to do he wants to counter attack me so that I don't get to a level where God can trust me with millions. So you know why the devil was saying change stones into bread? It was because Jesus was the bread of life. So he himself was the bread. But the enemy was counter attacking that worth. He took him to the pinnacle of the temple. He said if you throw yourself down. That was the test of the high priest. Because he was, he is the high priest. And what I like here The third level of temptation He showed him all the kingdoms of the earth And said if you can worship me I will give you the powers Because Jesus was elevated to the level Where he's going to get legitimately The powers that God has invested in him uh, you are not helping me up here You are not helping me up in here So after Jesus death Fast forward He came back with the keys To restore That which men lost in the garden And the Bible tells me now Jesus says all power. Somebody say all power. It means that we are making an acknowledgement. God is making an acknowledgement that from the garden of Eden to the time of Jesus the devil had powers. But here is another acknowledgement. After Jesus was resurrected all power. So after the resurrection of Jesus the devil is no longer having powers. Oh I wish I can talk to somebody. The problem with with the church is we have been giving the devil a credit which is not due to him. We magnify him in our testimonies. That is why some of the fastest mushrooming ministries are those that people will sit there listen to the demons being interviewed the whole day. And I, in my own opinion, I wouldn't call that the church of Jesus. It's a church where the devil is being magnified. He's given a credit which is not due to him. Because after Jesus was resurrected, all power. Oh, I wish I can talk to somebody. We have been reinstated to our level of I mean, of function in the kingdoms of God. Oh, the devil tonight, he will know that I've got all the power. Come on, somebody. Come on, come on, come on. Let me preach to people who have all the power right here. Amen. 
Amen. And the same power Jesus said I give it unto you. Zile zile nguvu Yesu anasema na wapeni nyinyi. He never went to heaven with the power. Kwa hivyo hakwenda mbinguni na nguvu hizo. It was given to us. Ilipewa sisi. He said go wait in Jerusalem. Anasema endeneni muongoje Yerusalemu. In few days. Katika siku chache. If you can stay there in one accord. Ukikaa pale katika nia moja. Comes the Holy Spirit. Na Roho Mtakatifu atakuja. Sit on every one of you. Ambaye atakaa juu ya kila mmoja wenu. You shall receive power. nguvu. After that the Holy Ghost has come upon you. Akisha wajieni Roho Mtakatifu. Now watch this, watch this, watch this. Tazama haya. Ephesians wa Efeso 6 from verse 10. Wa Efeso 6 kuanzia mstari wa 10. It says, Anasema hivi, Finally, brethren, hatimaye wandugu, be strong in the Lord. Mweni thabiti katika Bwana. Tell your neighbor say be strong in the Lord. Ambie ndugu yako kuwa thabiti katika Bwana. Get a better neighbor someone and say be strong. Pata mwingine umseme kuwa na hodari in the Lord. Katika Bwana. And in the power. Na katika uweza, not just being strong in the Lord. Usiwe tu hodari katika Bwana. But you Bwana. have to be strong in the power. Lazima uwe hodari katika oh. Oh, Jesus, I wish I can talk to somebody up there. Now listen to this. There are some sports that you have to train to in order to be fit. But there are some sports that you need to be fit in order to train. Those are two different things. Some you train to be fit. Some you have to be fit in order to train. So here in the kingdom katika ufalme you have to be fit lazima uwe hodari be strong in the lord uwe hodari katika bwana be fit and in his power uwe be hodari fit. katika nguvu zake amen because the ak47 that you're going to be carrying kwa sababu ile bunduki utakayo na beba the kingdom of the enemy kuharibu falme wa giza does not need a weak person haitaji mtu ambaye ana nguvu somebody in my god that devil that devil that devil I'm feeling a fighting spirit rising Nina from me right now. My God, my God, my God. Wangu, if wangu. ever there's devil in this room, amen, we have hini. to show him emergency exits in this La building now. Oh, give the Lord a praise. Mpe mungu tukufu. Now watch this. Ebu haya. Put on the armor of God. Jiwekeni silaha za Bwana that you might be able to stand mpate kuweza kuzipinga not, not against the powers of the devil sio dhidi ya nguvu za shetani not against the, 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 the might of the devil sio dhidi ya nguvu za shetani but against the wiles lakini uh, makusudi the word wiles means tricks mipango au mikakati ya shetani it means schemes ujanja wa shetani So after the devil has been disarmed of the powers baada ya shetani kuondolewa nguvu all that he operates in ile ambacho amebakia nacho is not the power but sheer nguvu ni ujanja he works on schemes yeye ni ujanja he wants to threaten you but he has no power yeah. he's disarmed and he's defeated he strong in the shindo vani silamu wadari god if the devil has ever stolen anything from you tonight ikiwa shetani You gotta tell your neighbor we're going after him. Lazima umwambie sisi tunakaribia. My money and I want it now. I didn't know you never had power. Sikujua una nguvu. Because you came to me wearing a mask. Kwa sababu ulikuja kwangu bila nguvu. I thought you were ghost. I was strong. Nilifikiria una nguvu. You are just a legal skinny something. Lakini wewe hauna nguvu. You're coming to threaten me with a voice. Unataka kuniwezesha na nguvu. You're coming to threaten me with a shadow and an image. Be strong in the Lord. Hodari katika Bwana. I was telling bishop I, I can't remember how old I was but sikumbuki nilikuwa umri gani As I told you I grew up in the village Nilikuwa katika vitongojini pale During our times wakati wetu Of course I, you would like to believe there were very few death cases Kulikuwa na watu uh, maybe once in a year somebody would die sana. in the village You remember those times Kuna watu wachache walikuwa wanakufa wakati We were so scared of death Tulikuwa tunahofia kifo Wakisema mtu amekufa 
We would lock ourselves until that person is buried. Tulikuwa tunajifungia kwa nyumba hadi huyo mtu azikwe. So my mom went to the night vision. Kwa hivyo mama kaenda katika matanga. And I was with my younger brother. Na nilikuwa na ndugu yangu mdogo. So we were not very far from the funeral. We hear them singing. We could not sleep that night. Atukua, we atukua mbali, atungeenda pale kwa sababu tulikuwa tuna hofu. Lock the doors, lock the doors. Mama yangu like, akatuambia like, fungeni milango. We were scared of death. Tulikuwa tunaogopa kifo. My God, nature called me. Mungu <laughs> Nikajisikia kujisaidia. And we didn't have in-house bathrooms. Na hatukuwa na choo katika nyumba. I'm with my younger brother. We Niko na ndugu yangu mdogo. Sisi tuna hofu. And I said to him. Na nikamwambia, stay here. Ebuka hapa. I'm come. Ninakuja. Now I went now. Nikaenda nje. Fast forward, I came back. Eh, eh, pereka mbele nikarudi. Now when I got back niliporudi when I got back niliporudi when I was closing the door nilipokuwa nafunga mlango there was a force kulikuwa na nguvu from the outside kutoka nje the door is opening mlango unafunguliwa I'm like here yeah, it's death now ninasema kwamba hiki ni kifo sasa I'm pushing the door ninasukuma mlango and the door is being pushed from that side na mlango unasukuma kutoka hivi I'm screaming all I can ninapaza sauti and I'm hearing my brother my younger brother scream ninasikia ndugu yangu mdogo akipaza sauti he was 3 years old alikuwa kama miaka 3 hivi I'm thinking it's all somewhere behind na, nafikiria yuko mahali hapa katika so nyumba so people at the funeral watu katika matanga they hear screams and wanasikia watu wanapaza sauti we are dying he is dead So when they came they are coming with sticks and wanapokuja wanakuja na viboko and when they came to the door my mama said hey man open up as that ask mama na sema fungua there's something right behind there kuna kuna kitu hapo nyuma ya mlango and guess what na hebu hebu fikiria when i went out nilipotoka nje my younger brother also went out ndugu yangu alikuwa ametoka nje So when I was coming back he followed me. Nilipokuja when I was uh, closing the door he was opening the door for me. Alikuwa mlango kutoka nje. When I realized I was scared of my younger brother. Nikagundua ya kwamba nilikuwa nimehofia ndugu yangu mdogo. That little push of a 3 year old fat like Batista. Or big show is pushing the door. Nguvu za huyu mtoto mdogo zilikuwa kama mtu mzima. Ladies and gentlemen Wapendwa. The day we gonna go to heaven. Siku ambayo tutaenda mbinguni. The day I believe that God will show us who Satan is. Siku ambayo Mungu atatuonyesha shetani ni nani. You will feel sorry for yourself that why all this what is this a little thing? Huyo jamaa alikuwa ananisumbua. Because we have given him so much credit. Kwa sababu tumemwambia he was using scare tactics. Alikuwa na ujanja tu. He has no power. Hana nguvu. Oh my God I'm feeling the anointing of the Nina Holy Spirit in this house. Katika nyumba hii. Amen. Amen. One thing that one trick that the enemy uses. Ujanja mmoja ambao shetani anatumia. He wants to break your spirit. Anataka kuvunja roho yako. Nelson Mandela what is one in, in Robben Island? Pale Robben kisiwa cha Robben. He was only allowed. Alikuwa na aruhusiwa tu. To receive once in six months. Mandela alikuwa anaruhusiwa kupokea tu mara moja kwa miezi sita. A letter sita. from Winnie who was his wife. Barua kutoka kwa Winnie ambaye alikuwa ni mkewe. Once in six months. Siku moja baada ya miezi sita. So the officers then maafisa pale they had rehearsed Winnie's handwriting walikuwa wamegundua jinsi Winnie anavyoandika and they will bring him a letter na walikuwa wanamletea barua as if it's from Winnie kama imetokana na Winnie that letter will state things like you have been in jail for too long barua ingesema kwamba umekuwa katika jela muda mrefu i'm getting married mimi ninaolewa you are never going to be the president of south africa hautakuwa rais wa afrika kusini you will die and rot in jail wewe utakufa uh, pale jela but the prison warders lakini wale wafisa wa jela they said nelson mandela walisema nelson mandela each time he received negative news kila wakati alipokuwa anapokea habari zisizofaa he had an asked 
He had an art of mastering not how to show emotions. Alikuwa na uwezo wa kutoonyesha hisia. Because somewhere deep down in his spirit. Kwa sababu ndani ya kilindini cha roho yake. He knew that the chances could be. Alikuwa anaona kwamba kuna uwezekano. These people wants to discourage me. Ya kwamba hao watu wanataka kunishusha moyo. So all that the enemy does. Kila kitu ambacho shetani anafanya. He will write you negative reports. Anakuandikia ripoti zisizofaa. He will make sure that doctor gives you a negative negative report. Kwamba, the anakupa devil does mbaya. not have power. He uses tricks that if you are not strong in the Lord kwamba, uko odari bwana, you will get defeated. Wewe they sell Joseph. Yusufu. Amen. Amen. Take his garment. Soak it in the lake. blood of the Waka, animal. Waka Come nyama. to the old man. Rudi baba they yake. said your son is dead. What were they trying to do? To nini? break his spirit. Uh, but my Bible tells me. The old man refused. Baba yake to be comforted. If I were you tonight. Ninge, I will refuse to be comforted in areas of defeat. I will refuse to be comforted in areas of failure. I will refuse to be comforted in areas where I have lost something. I wish I can talk to somebody up here. My God, there's a message coming. In case of Jacob, it took him 17 long years. Wakati wa Yakobo ilimchukua miaka 17 to hear that Joseph is still alive. Kusikia kwamba Yosefu bado angali hai. Can I encourage somebody here? Ninaweza kutia mtu moyo hapa that your dream ya kwamba ndoto zako your zako, vision maono yako your marriage maandoa yako your business biashara yako your ministry huduma yako your integrity oh, it is yako, still alive yako katika hai it might have taken you 17 years of lies inaweza kuchukua katika miaka 17 ya uongo lakini neno la kutia moyo ni hili sound too good to be true ikiwa inaonekana kwamba ni bora zaidi my god give your neighbor high five and say joseph is still alive Joseph is still alive. Yusufu angali hai. I've been mourning all these years. Mimi nimekuwa naomboleza wakati wote. But what God has promised me. Lakini kile Mungu alichoahidi. What God says I am. Kile Mungu amesema What God says I can do. Kile ambacho Mungu amesema naweza. What God says I can have. Kile ambacho Mungu anasema naweza pata. Still alive. Bado kihai. Devil, you don't stand a chance tonight. Shetani hauna nafasi leo. I'm strong in the Lord. Niko hodari katika Bwana. I'm strong in the power of his might. I'm rising up. The Bible says Jacob's spirit was revived. I came to revive somebody's spirit here tonight. My God, somebody say to yourself, my spirit is revived. My spirit is revived. Amen. You are about to get married. Walk tall. Let your spirit be revived. They told you you are too old to get married. But let your spirit be revived. Because next year by this time. Let your spirit be revived. You are about to walk in your destiny. You are about to walk in your future. You are about to walk in your, walk in your promise. Give the Lord a praise. He's not only alive, but he's a ruler. Somebody say he's a ruler. Have you ever used ruler at school? Amen. If anything is crooked, the ruler makes it straight. Amen. Hallelujah. The one who is still alive, he is a ruler. Everything that needs to be corrected in your family, he will correct it. What's this? Let me come to the close. Numbers. Kitabu cha hesabu. 1424. Watch what the Bible says. Sikiliza kile ambacho Biblia inasema. But my servant Caleb. 
lakini mtumishi wangu Caleb because he has a different spirit kwa sababu ana roho tofauti King James says another spirit tafsiri ya mfalme Yakobo inasema uh, roho tofauti Samba say another spirit. Ana roho nyingine. Try KGV say another spirit. Tujaribu tafsiri ya Yakobo. Say it like you believe it. Say another spirit. <laughs> roho nyingine. Amen. 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 Because he has another spirit. Kwa sababu ana roho tofauti. What happened? What happened? Nini natendeka? He had fo- he had followed me fully. Alikuwa ananitafuta kabisa. Because he had another spirit. Kwa sababu ana roho nyingine. I will bring him into the land where into he went. Nitamuleta katika inchi ambayo anaenenda. 12 spies. Kwa wale makachero. To spy the land. Wale makachero walipoenda. Two came with positive. Wawili walikuja na habari njema. Caleb was one of those. Caleb alikuwa mmoja wao. Are you following me? Unanifuata. But the ten says. Lakini wale 10 wakasema. We were in their sights. Sisi tulienda katika nchi yao. Like grasshoppers. Tukaonekana kama nzige. They saw themselves as grasshoppers. Walijiona kama nzige. And they believed they were perceived as such. Wakaamini kwamba wale waliona kama nzige. Because the devil was using a trick. Kwa sababu shetani alikuwa anatumia ujanja. Of intimidation. Ya kuhofishwa. But. Lakini Caleb. Caleb accept the spirit of fear and intimidation na kuofishwa he had another spirit alikuwa na roho nyingine i don't know from where i grew up there's this myth that uh, cats have seven lives pale nina nimezaliwa kuna hii imani ya kwamba paka paka ana roho kama 9 hivi should be kenyan cats amen <laughs> How in Africa wakeni. they say seven whatever the case is Africa kusini wana roho saba Kenya wana roho tisa you have killed a cat mtu akiua paka you will be surprised the cat will get up utashangazwa kwamba paka atainuka because it has another spirit kwa nini also. kwa sababu ana roho nyingine so this what god was intending right here hivi ndivyo mungu alivyokuwa anamaanisha that when you faint in this level ya kwamba ukiweza kosa nguvu katika kiwango hiki lazima uwe na nguvu nyingine rising up in another spirit inuka tena katika roho nyingine oh the devil is a liar shetani ni muongo some of you the devil thought he has defeated you wengine wenyu shetani alifikiria ameuweza but he will be so surprised lakini atashangazwa because you are rising up kwa sababu unainuka because devil if you thought you know me shetani ukifikiria unanijua if you thought you have finished me ukifikiria umenimaliza if you thought you have killed me ukifikiria I'm coming again. Ninarudi tena. Because I'm different from the ten. Mimi ni tofauti tena na wao. I have another spirit. Shetani nina roho nyingine. Oh, you gonna give the Lord a praise up in here. Mungu sifa hapa. Come on, give him praise. Mungu mpe sifa. Devil, I'm not dead. Shetani sijafariki. Amen. 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 Listen to this. Hebu sikiliza. You are staring of your own movie. Wewe umehofishwa na movie yako, uh, sinema yako. This is a wrong church. Hii ni kanisa mbaya. Let me preach to this church. I said you are a staring of your own movie. Wewe ndiye mtu mkuu katika sinema yako. You see when you're watching a movie, Una, ukitazama sinema, and they say it runs for 120 minutes. Na nasema ni uh, dakika 120. In within 20 minutes. Katika uh, dakika 120. Point a gun in the staring wanaelekeza bunduki kwa yule muhusika mkuu rest assured wewe uwe umetulia we still have a long way bado hiyo sinema inaendelea the staring is not gonna die ba, kwa sababu yule muhusika mkuu hafi so no matter what happens to me devil nini na as long as my script is not completed yangu you can put a gun on my head you can changu. put me on the hospital bed Una, niweka you can nini. set a bomb next to me Una, weka because I'm the staring of my own movie kwa sababu I mkuu. am not going to die Mimi sita kufa. until I become one God has called me to Some movies, cinema nyingine, some movies, cinema zingine, they end when 
a staring is short. Zinaisha yule muhusika mkuu anapofariki. And is swimming in the pool of his blood. Na yeye yako katika damu yake. And they write the end. Na wanaandika kwisha. But if you are observant. Lakini ikiwa uko before the words the end comes. Kabla mwisho haujakuja. You will see him tapping a finger. Utaona yeye akiuguza kidole. Or moving a leg. Ama na songeza mguu. Just a slight move. Anaonyesha tu mdomo. You know what is the meaning of that? Inamaanisha nini? It means that part 2 in the movie kwamba sehemu ya pili inakuja. And one part 2 starts. Na sehemu ya pili inapoanza. They start showing you. Wanaanza kukuonyesha wewe. The staring got rescued. Jinsi muhusika mkuu alivyookolewa. He had the rubber bullets. Jinsi yule muhusika mkuu alivyokuwa na rubber bullets. The chest but that shot his arm. My Na God, he, I wish I talk to somebody up in here. I want to encourage everybody who is down and out now. Nataka kumtia mtu ambaye yuko chini pale. Your movie has come to an end. Ya kwamba sinema yako haijaisha. You got to tell them baby get ready for part 2. Tunaambia wewe tujitayarishe kwa sababu ya sehemu ya pili. Get ready for the part 2 of my movie. Jiandae kwa ajili ya sehemu ya pili. Get ready for the part 2 of my movie. Nasema jiandae kwa sababu ya sehemu ya pili. And the good news is. Na habari njema ni kwamba when the movie comes. Na sinema inapokuja. I'm still the staring of my own movie because i have another spirit sababu nina roho nyingine shabra hazaka talama shakara babosa shandai shandai asali amen amen it's my other town ile <laughs> asali let, let, let's close let's close in esther wacha tufunge katika kitabu cha esther somebody say 2 minutes mtu aseme dakika mbili Somebody say two minutes. Mtu aseme dakika mbili. Amen. 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 Let's close in the book of Acts. Tusome katika kitabu cha Esther. Chapter 5. Mlango wa 5. Get me in verse 8. Nifikishe katika mstari wa 8. Somebody say the devil will name your price. Mtu aseme shetani atataja bei yako. If I have found favor in thy sight, O king. Ikiwa nimepata kibali mbele yako. It please the king to grant me my permission. Na inafurahisha mfalme kunipa request, Na kufanya ombi. Let me have the king. Can I have the king? Wacha niwe na tafsiri. Uh, niwe, niwe na mfalme. Don't mfalme. you want to be the king? Mfalme nani anataka Amen. kuwa mfalme? Amen. Thank you Brian. Asante Brian with the word. Let the king Wacha mfalme and Haman come to the banquet that I shall prepare for them. Na Hamani waje kwenye karamu nitakayoandalia. Can I have Haman? Wacha niwe na Hamani. Amen. Stand on the second step. Amen. Because of course you are lower than the king. I think in the back of your mind you are like I should have gone first. Okay. Then verse 9. Then Haman went forth the day joyful with glad heart but Haman saw Mordecai. Basi Haman alitoka siku ile kwa furaha na ukunjufu wa moyo lakini Haman alipomuona Mordecai. Let me have Mordecai. Wacha niwe na Mordecai. Now. Sasa. Mordecai was there at the king's gate. Mordecai alikuwa kwenye malango ya mfalme. Haman is coming. Amani anakuja. This man is just a security guard. Huyo bwana ni mlinda lango tu. He is going to the king. Anaenda kwa mfalme. And the Bible says he saw him at the gate. Come Biblia ikasema kamuona kwenye malango. And na He stood not up no move for him. He was full of indignation against Mordecai. Hasimami wala kutetemeka mbele yake alijaa ghadhabu. He, he was so mad. Alijazwa na ghadhabu. Huh? You know some people just hate you for no reason. Unajua kuna watu wanakuchukia pasipo na sababu. You are trying to sell in the legal corner. Unajaribu kukaa tu katika corner. Somebody hates you for being selling sweets right there in the corner. Mtu anakuchukia tu kuuza sweets katika corner hiyo. Joseph's brothers to kill him. Kile ambacho kilisababisha ndugu zake Yusuf kufungua. Ni kwa sababu ya ndoto zake. Now when people hate you Sasa watu wanapokuchukia having done nothing na hujafanya chochote it, it's revealing inaonyesha that, that devil inadhirisha kwamba shetani is naming your pride anatajia bei yako he's saying 
physically and it might look like you belong there standing. but in the spirit you stand somewhere because the devil can sniff success he can smell prosperity he can smell integrity I wish I can talk to somebody if you have ever wondered why am I going through what I'm going through it's because the devil is making you aware that you are more than what you think some of you should have been dead by now but God saved you from that car accident God saved you from that hospital bed you survived a gunshot you survived step wounds but the devil was trying to kill you then my God I wish someone can preach to the enemy and say devil if you were a good devil you should have killed me while you had a chance but now I'm strong in the power. Don't joke with the devil. I know you are saved, but don't be too nice for him. Amen. Some Christians, some Christians are so nice. Instead of calling him devil like that, they, 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 they think they're going to hurt his emotion. They go like, ah, David, 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 David. David. David, David. You can't even call him Satan or Sati, Sati, Sati. You can't even call him Lucifer, Lucy, Lucy, Lucy. Lucifer, Lucy, Lucy, Lucy. Oh, say it to your neighbor, he's going to pay, he's going to pay. Oh, watch this, watch this. And no. uh, Psalm 107. I want to cut the long story short. Now, Mordecai, I mean, Haman went to the king. They have whatever they had. The he was the close man next to the king. The man was there at the gate. He goes home. He tells his wife how, how ticked off how, how disturbed he was by seeing Mordecai. And you know what they said? They said, no, no, since you have a favor with the king, ask him to execute Mordecai. As a matter of fact, he even designed a pole where they are going to kill Mordecai. Mordecai. Come on, talk to me. That night, somebody say that night, when they are planning to kill Mordecai, the Bible Mordecai. says on that night, verse 1 of Biblia chapter 6, somebody say on that night, some of you, it's going to be this night, the king could not sleep. Oh my God. God is going to cause somebody who carries the seat of favor. He's going to cause them not to sleep tonight. Any, any, any meeting that is being set that people are planning against you, it will cause the kingdom of heaven. It will cause Jesus to be restless tonight. It will cause Jesus to come to Nairobi. Zimmerman. Zimmerman. Oh, listen to what he's coming for. And, and, and the king said, no, bring me the books. Go back. Go back. Bring me the books of the chronicles. He could not sleep. But he says in his time of sleepless. Lakini yakasema wakati alipokosa usingizi. Niletee vitabu. And they were read before the king. Na akasomewa. Verse 2. Mstari wa pili. It was found written. Ikapatikana imeandikwa. That Mordecai. Ya kwamba Mordecai. My God. 
tonight the record of history is going to be open God has not forgotten about any good thing you have done some of you were wondering God have you forgotten what I have done for you have you forgotten about my prayers have you forgotten about my tithes and offerings God is saying I had not forgotten but I was waiting for the day that your enemy will rise I was waiting for the day that your enemy will plan to take you out that I will go to the books tell your neighbor say I'm not dying I'm not dying the books will speak on my behalf tonight the books of heaven about the good you have done into the kingdom they will be open God is going to say no not my son no not my daughter not the one who has been faithful not the one who has been tithing not the one who has been giving not the one who is the pillar of the ministry oh give your neighbor a high five tell them God has not forgotten tell somebody say God has not forgotten your works your good works have been visited tonight your labor has been visited tonight your commitment God is visiting it tonight all the years of your sacrifice God hallelujah that cancer won't, heal you, won't kill you. God is going to visit the books. And say, not, not this one. Not, not this one. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on. Come on. Devil try next door. Not this one. Ah, you're not going to die. You will live. And declare the works of the Lord. Now watch. Hallelujah. It was found that Mordecai saved the king one day. There are times where you saved the kingdom of God. There are times where you saved Muntu wa Mungu. There were times where your prayers, your giving has served a memorial to the house of God. I wish I can talk to someone. Now watch this, watch this. The king said, no, before that, in verse 3. Now, this now, in the morning, the king never slept. The king asked, what honor? Somebody say, what honor? What honor and dignity has been done to Mordecai for us? Ladies and gentlemen, the heaven is asking today for what you have done. God is asking He's asking his angels have we done anything to Bishop Jimmy for, for his sacrifice come on let me talk to somebody about it. God is asking his angels what have we done to Bishop JB for all his struggles in ministry all his sacrifice and listen to this there was nothing Somebody say nothing was done. Nothing was done. Come on, say it loud. Say nothing was done. Hakuna kilichotendwa. Verse 4. Mstari And the king, I don't know whether he saw through the window. Sijui kama aliona kupitia dirisha. Said who is in the court? Akasema nani yako behewani? Now Haman came in out the court. Hamani akaja kutoka behewani. And to speak unto the king. Na kuzungumzia mfalme. To do what? Kufanya nini? <laughs> Look, he does not know what's happening here. He's coming with some people are pulling the pole. He says we're going to hang him. Possibly he's seen passing him at the gates. And, 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 and like oh God you only have less than 24 hours to leave Mordecai does not even know why the pole is being dragged the next verse 
And the king's servant said unto him, Behold, no, that's Haman. That's Haman standing there. And the king said, Call him. Remember this man is the right hand man of the king. Come on. He has been serving the king as well. No, 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 no. Verse 6. And the king said unto him, What shall be done unto the man whom the king delighted to honor? Listen to this. Now Haman thought in his heart, To whom would the king delight to honor more than him? The, he's thinking. He's thinking. Who could it be mimi? except me? Except me. Now he's going to mention Sasa anaenda kutaja the very best kile kitu kizuri that zaidi. he would want for himself. Ambacho angetaka tunukiwe. But little does he know Lakini hatambui. he's naming the price for his enemy. Ya kwamba anatajia bei ya dui yake. Tell your neighbor say he's going to name your price. Atataja bei yako. You don't know what you're worth. He's gonna name it. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Now, 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 he's sitting there. He's like, wow. I've been waiting for this moment. He said, for the man, I think the king had a secretary there. He said, for the man whom the king wants to delight to honor. Let's go. Let the royal apparel be brought which the king uses to wear. Wacha mavazi ya kifalme ya letu ambayo mfalme anatumia. Ah come on somebody say royal apparel. Come on. Come on. Mavazi ya kifalme. From, from the security garment that you are wearing in the gate. Mbele na ile mavazi ya kiafisa wa wa ya watchman ya bawabu. And the king said to the secretary, okay fine. Na mfalme akamwambia secretary, write that down. Hebu andika haya. And said is that all? Akasema hiyo ndio yote? No Haman went on. Haman akaendelea. And the horse na farasi Listen now now we're talking about the horses Sasa tunaongea kuhusu mafarasi This was modern Ikiwa hii ingekuwa wakati huu We'll be talking about Tungekuwa tunaongea kuhusu the beast Oh Lord I mess <laughs> ah. And the king said, "Secretary, write it down." And he said, "Is that all?" And Haman said, "No, no, no." And the crown, the royal crown, which sat upon his head. And the king said, "Write that down." And verse nine, and the king said, "Is that all?" And said, "No, no, no." Let the apparel and the horse be given to the head of one of the king's most noble. Mkononi moja wapo ya makida wa mfalme alia mstahiku. Ambaye mfalme angependa kutunuka. Hapa ndipo napenda. Na umleta katika farasi. Kupitia vijiji vya Nairobi. Kupitia mita ya Zimmerman. And the last thing, this man says, let there be a praiser who goes ahead of the horse and saying, behind me is the man whom the king is delighting to honor. And the king said, thank you so much. Is, is that all? Yo, said, yo, yes, me kusha kusha sasa. And, and, and the king said, go call Mordecai. And he said to Haman, Haman, I like your last suggestion Napenda mawazo yako ya mwisho. of a praiser. Ya mtu ambaye ni wasifa. Since you came with the suggestion, Kwa sababu wewe ni I think you can do it better than anybody. Oh, give your neighbor a high five and say the devil will name your price. Whatever the devil never wanted you to have is coming your way. Don't pray for your enemies to die. Pray for them to live longer for what they never wanted you to be. You shall be. And the Bible 
says nasema, it is your enemy yako, that will go before you announcing in the streets of Kenya that behold a man whom the king shows honor my God I wish I can preach to somebody Life up here stand up and give five people a high five say I'm not dying yet I'm not dying yet I'm not dying yet my books are saving me my history is saving me my good work will save me oh, what the enemy is wishing for himself it's coming to you what the enemy is wishing for himself it's coming for you give the Lord a praise Based on, based on the message that the bishop preached last night some will have the deals and they will inflate the prices for their gain but not knowing they are not doing it for themselves because in the last hour you're going to sneak in my God. I wish I could talk to somebody Can you imagine how Naaman Haman felt? His best for his worst enemy. I declare tonight you will have the best of your worst enemy. Hallelujah. It's strange how God works. Bartimaeus. 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 When he was calling on Jesus. They say keep quiet. Keep quiet. When it reached Jesus' attention. Jesus does not shout to him. No, he said call him to him. He just says call him to him. So it started from the person that was next to Jesus. And it's like he's calling him. So he's calling him. He's calling. He's calling. He's calling. He's calling. He's calling. He's calling. Until it got the next person who was next to Bartimaeus and said he's calling him. Why God was what why was God doing that? He wants to use the same person who discouraged you to come back and encourage you. People are amazed. Eh? If you read one of the scriptures, it even said they said, "Be of good cheer." Be be of good cheer. The same be people were saying, "Shut up!" Like they come back, be of good chance. Yeah, you are the man. He's, call, he's calling you. Amen, amen. I declare that to you. Whosoever told you you are nothing, you are amount to nothing, you're not going to achieve anything in the world. I hear that heavens are turning right now. God will reward you of your good work. Give the Lord a praise. Woo! Hallelujah. Let me make this statement. People Watu, who are jealous of you, wivu, they will never celebrate your success wako, if it's above theirs. So if you have achieved anything, it's below them. They, they say, well I, done. But once you start inua. to do something they have never done, those that you thought were friends Wale watu ni ma zaku. will show their true colors. Colors zao halisi, rangi zao halisi. It is natural. Ni kiasili. If it happened to Joseph through his brothers, kwa kwa it's going to happen through you. Itatendeka kwako. Uh, Facebook is a good revelator. 
Facebook ni u, u, kuna ufunuo mzuri katika Facebook. You have 500 friends. Una marafiki 500. You put a picture there. Unaweka picha hapo. You have less than 10 likes. Una <laughs> kama watu wata, wat, kama kumi tu ndio wanapendezwa. It shows you. Inakuonyesha 411 or 91 takriban 491 they are not your friends sio rafiki zako is that that facebook does not have dislike it doesn't have mm, but but if if it develops If it develops they're going to have something like mm, they will kiendelee tusema ah hiyo tumekataa hiyo tumekataa But don't worry. Lakini usi jali. The enemy. Shetan will name. Ata taja. Bless you. Love you. God bless you. Mungu awabariki. Hallelujah.